Hello everyone, uh, so welcome back. I'm going to uh, show you what I'm uh, melting and burning today. Can't leave the house too much right now. Um, Millie has to be supervised all the time. She had her ligament surgery on December 7th and today's December 10th. And uh, yeah, she's doing okay. She, we just have to keep her really calm. Uh, she just can't do very much, very limited activity with that, um, with that knee. And uh, the first uh, 48 hours, she was incontinent of urine. Now she did have an epidural. Usually with epidurals, you might have some urinary retention. Well, she was incontinent and she was drinking like a fish. Uh, so uh, we had a lot of cleaning up to do. And that first night was uh, quite long. Uh, Frank went on a ski trip. He has had had this booked for quite a few months and I said no go ahead you need a vacation you need to get away um, but luckily Jules uh, was a big help and um, yeah we got through that first night somehow and uh, yeah so she's doing better now uh, she's on a ton of medication uh, we had a booklet of physio uh, I gotta start that I, uh, couple days we got to start physio with her they gave us this thick booklet to go through of all the exercises it's going to be uh, a long drawn out recovery uh, she probably won't even be able to go into the woods till like four or five months um, and she can't do stairs for a couple months we got the stairs blocked off I'm sleeping downstairs and I will be for the next couple months uh, so yeah yeah, that's my little project for the next few months is get uh, get my little baby back to her usual self. Um, so this is a little picture here of uh, what they actually did. It's called a TPLO uh, and uh, it's like a 90% success rate. It's uh, They have tried uh, various uh, surgeries four ligaments and uh, the surgeon said this one has uh, the, the best success rate. Uh, it's much more stable. They recover much more quickly. So they basically, this is the tibia here. This is her knee joint and they just make this cut here and then they put this uh, plate and, and screws in. Uh, so yes, anyway, <laughs> um, that's uh, keeping me quite busy. And uh, last night she actually slept through the night, so that, that was a good thing. So anyway, I'll show you what I'm um, melting today. So this is the pantry area just off the kitchen. Um, got my little Santa here. I do, I like this kind of look for a Santa rather than the traditional uh, red suit and black belt. I like kind of this natural pagan look, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, he's got his little bank of goodies here a little bell and that so and uh, in my uh, Yankee warmer here I have sensationals holiday home and this is a uh, deep cinnamon bakery scent it's not red hot it's just a very earthy bakery type of cinnamon and it's quite strong and uh, yeah look at that oh, a beautiful scene there all right, and then I'll go into the kitchen. So these are all of um, Millie's uh, medication. Uh, so um, these two are the same medication, gabapentin for nerve pain. Um, yeah, we're just using up this old bottle and then working on this one. And this one is uh, antibiotic. This one is just helps coat her stomach. Um, this is the anti-inflammatory, and this is trazodone, the sedation, to keep her quiet. <laughs> uh, good luck with that. Um, so yeah, she's on lots of medications. I've got a little schedule written down there, so you just look at it in a glance. And I've always wanted to try Yorkshire pudding. So this is the dough mix. Uh, so we're going to try that either tonight or within the next few days. We haven't tried it before. But I've always wanted to try it. Alrighty, and then um, I have Bath and Body Works hot cocoa and cream. 
And yes, I've gone through quite a few of these in the past couple years. It just is a very authentic um, hot chocolate scent. Uh, it kind of smells like that uh, Nestle powder with the rabbit on it when you open up the powder. It just has that kind of scent to it. Um, so yeah, this is filling up the kitchen and I need a strong scent in the kitchen, but it's filling it up. And uh, the past couple of days I have been uh, melting Bath & Body Works Peppermint Sugar Cookie and I've gone through a couple of these too. And there is absolutely no issues with the burn. It fills up the kitchen. It's just, it's probably like 70% peppermint and 30% uh, sugar cookie. All right, so that's it for the kitchen. I gotta put some Christmassy stuff in here yet. I just... Uh, my mind's been elsewhere this past couple weeks, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, um, I'm just kind of way behind. And there's the star of the show, my little Millie. Oh, <laughs> precious girl. Oh, we'll get through this, won't we? Yes, oh yes, we'll get through this. There's that poor little leg. Yeah, I'll show me your incision. Yeah. <laughs> baby girl. No, you stay. You stay. You gotta s settle down. It's hard when you're a Springer Spaniel, isn't it? You just want to keep going. Okay, there's Millie. And we have to use this whenever she goes outside or if she kind of is walking around too much in the house. I just put this around her waist and lift up her back legs there. Um for uh, to keep some of that weight off her leg. So yeah, with chronic back pain, it's <laughs> gonna kinda take a toll on my back, but anyway, you're worth it, aren't you, baby? You're worth it, yes you are. So she can't go up on any beds or, or furniture, which she does all the time. So I kind of blocked off with the cushions here. Uh, she still tries to get up, so I gotta watch her. So I just got all the pillows kind of blocking off. That's her bed there. Uh, and this is my bed for the next couple months. So we did have a blow-up mattress, but I uh, couldn't find it anywhere. I think, um, oh God, this stupid thing's like 25 years old, so I think it was pooched anyhow. So I just bought one of these foam memory mattress toppers. Uh, I can't sleep on the couch because it doesn't give me enough support. Uh, but my back's been okay, though. Uh, it gives enough support for my back. Alrighty. And then, um, oh, I'm just reading Alice Feeney, Rock, Paper, and Scissors. I haven't gotten too far yet, so I can't really say whether I like it or not. Um, I did bring out my little uh, Yankee uh, double tea warmer here. And what do I have in here? I had it burning last night. Um, there's North Pole, which is a peppermint scent. I don't think that's going to focus. And then um, Cascading Snowberry, which is a evergreen berry type of scent. And right now, I have good old Bath & Body Works flannel going. Um, usually I put this in my bedroom, but uh, I'm spending 90% of the day downstairs, uh, so I got flannel going. And you guys know how much I like flannel. And then just the side table, I got a few Christmas decorations uh, set up here. The little sled here. I think I got that in Home Sensor Winners. Um, another uh, non traditional Santa, which I like. Okay, in the bathroom downstairs, oh, this is Sensational's uh, Black Pepper and Rosemary that I'm just finishing up. It's pretty well lost its scent, so I'm just waiting to, for it to melt, and then I'll just cotton ball it out of there. And then I'm going to throw in Sensational's Mistletoe Kisses, which is a evergreen uh, berry type of scent. Um, I have gone through one of these packages before, I think. This is my last one. Okay, it's time for a pee break. 
and have to lift up her back legs and keep her on leash or she'll doesn't matter how sore she is she'll just go crazy oh I gotta pick up some poop here so it takes her a, she's stoned half the time so it takes her a while to figure out when to pee or poo all right in uh, Garrett's room uh, I do have Sensi's Be Merry. I just popped a couple cubes in. And this is like a, a tart berry scent. I, I get a little bit of red currant and cranberry, those uh, winter tart berries, which I really, really like. This would uh, go really nicely with uh, an evergreen scent. So I just popped that in. Um, I have burned this previously. I just can't remember how strong it was. Um, but that's what's going in this room. And then in uh, Julian's bathroom, I do have a uh, wild black cherry. And this one only needs one cube. This is very, very strong. This will pr practically fill up the uh, entire upstairs. Um, Julian loves his uh, uh, fruit scents and he does like cherry scents. So yeah, this one's strong and it's uh, very long lasting. So in my bedroom now, <sighs> I know I'm not up here too often, but when I do come up, I like it to smell nice. So this is Yankee Candle Snow Dusted uh, Bayberry Leaf. And yeah, this one is consistently strong in any form. Candle form, uh, wax melt form, uh, the centerpiece cup form. It's it's always strong and it's, uh, it's just a very nice bayberry scent. It's a little different than like your basic evergreen scents. Um, I wish there was a little more berries in there, but I can always uh, mix it with something else. But this is always consistently strong and just a, a really nice herbal evergreen scent. And then in uh, my little retreat here beside the bedroom, I have a uh, Christmas cottage going, which is a uh, kind of a cinnamon berry blend. Um, this one's filling up uh, the retreat back here and uh, fairly long lasting and um, yeah I'm really enjoying that one. Uh, so that's it. Uh, that's what I've been melting and burning today and that's what I've been doing lately. Uh, looking after poor little Millie. Um, but anyway uh, I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, give your loved ones a hug and kiss and uh, take care of each other and be kind. See you later. Bye bye.